Well, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for coming along. And I'm here with great pleasure to introduce Lucinda to us, who's come to talk about her journey in creating Genius Foods. The reason I started at Genius is that my son is, well, he was three, and he was just basically fading away in front of me. He was just failing to thrive. And the doctor said, yes, you should take him off wheat. Let's just see how he is. And literally within a week, he just felt miles better. And within a month, he put two kilos on. He was actually beginning to fill out. When I started to look at the market um, for uh, a decent gluten-free bread, there was just nothing. It would tend to be very dry and crumbly. And I felt that everyone on the celiac diet really deserved a great deal more. Today's event was, um, it was really interesting because Lucinda from Genius Foods was talking about her enterprise journey, becoming a multi-million pound turnover business um, in a relatively short space of time. I went through a whole process of having loaves this big on, on the, the, the kitchen table to this big when I put too much water in them. And after three years, um, they said, mommy, that's delicious. And because it was a groundbreaking product, the demand for it was massive and you become a sort of hamster in a wheel trying to keep up with the demand and we were really seeing cracks last year. Trying to create really great product day in day out was becoming harder and harder and harder. So the faster you can put the basics into place the better um, and you know the moment that people knew that bread was possible it was well what about croissant, what about doughnuts? yes let's try that, let's try that and you lose your focus and then you do everything badly. Every time you hear a new story, the more you're able to share experiences and the trials and the tribulations, the, uh, I think the more helpful it is. So, so it's always useful to hear more stories. For me particularly it was interesting her comments about making use of the stakeholder group that you have, so talking to your suppliers and also your customers and to use them to help you to innovate your products. Everything we do we have to, we always talk to our consumers about it. We ask their views, we get them to taste our products, um, we want to know how they'll feel about any change we make. It's really important when you're setting up in business that you understand what your strengths are and you don't try and do everything. Every time you learn something, it makes you and your business stronger because if you're someone that can learn from your mistakes, you're not gonna make that particular one again, but it's good to make mistakes because that's the only way you, you progress your business, really. When you're brand leader, it's very important to behave like number two. Don't behave like number one because if you do that, you'll sit back and you'll take your foot off the gas always behave like number two.